Hell of a play. Um, like he said, he just read it really well. You know, when he got the sack, I didn't know if he had hit the ball, if it was a PBU or something. I think I saw his arm go like, go. And as soon as I picked it up, I just took off as fast as I could. So, um, you know, all credit to him, though. You know, all credit to him, all credit to this team, the way we was fighting and everything. It's just, it's just amazing. Do you surprise you guys at all? Just, just never the ball like that. You know? um, he didn't surprise me. You know, I've always been a Justin Fields fan. Um, I, I know what type of ball player he is. I know how electrifying he could be with his with his legs. And then also, I feel like he he's a good quarterback. So, you know, I feel like I wasn't really surprised as much. I just feel like our defense had to step up and uh, rise to the challenge. When's the last time you scored a touchdown? Like high school, man. High school on a scoop and score. So I'm sure uh, some of my coaches are going to be hitting me up. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was cool, man. Exactly the game. It was huge. Um, it was huge. You know, I, I was saying on the sideline that the defense needed to score. Like, we need to create a turnover. We need to do something to get this juice going. Um, you know, I feel like we need to take more accountability as a defense and uh, put more on our shoulders so that, you know, we can affect the game more. We can, st- we can get more stops. And I feel like um, even with how good this win feels right now, um, we still got a lot of work to do, a lot of work to put in. And, uh, yeah, just can't wait to get back to work. Sean, Sean mentioned that Russ is going to win the top 10 and come back with him all time. When you know you've got him and you give him a chance, do you guys have that belief? You know, I, I, I don't think we blinked once. Like, even with how the game was going, even with everything, like, everybody kept their composure. Um, everybody stuck together, kept fighting, and that's what a team does. Um, and uh, I feel like as long as we had that going into every single week, every single Sunday, you know, uh, we got a really good chance to win. How good was it based on how last Sunday went and the start of this game to have the second half of it make as many big plays to help win it? Um, it feels good. I'm still not forgetting what happened. Um, I feel like that's a chip that we're going to carry for the rest of the season that happened. And I know for me personally, that's something that I'm going to carry for the rest of the season. And, uh, yeah, just taking like that every every week. Thanks, Coop. Thanks, Coop. Thanks, guys. I mean, it's nice. Obviously, you know, I think, you know, probably everybody else but the guys in the locker room counted us out again. Uh, and, you know, we we believed. We knew how, you know, bad we played in the first half. You know, obviously, you know, we're, we're seeing every play on the iPads. And we knew we just had to come together and, you know, get the ball to the offense. I think we ended whatever it is, you know, three, two, three turnovers. And against that team, you know, it ends up winning games. Uh, just our eyes. We just clean stuff up. There's a lot we need to clean up, uh, but you know we were able to you know do that in the second half, give the offense the ball, and you know take advantage of plays that we needed to make. They, get, they try to get you guys on the hard count there. Mm-hmm. The red zone. When they when they go off the are you thinking they're going to come back and run at that? You know? No, I thought for sure it was going to be a field goal, but once they do, you know they might hard count once, but they're running a play. You know they they've thought about it now for you know minute minute and a half, so it's. Enough time, they're going to run a play, but it's going to, you know, their offense is probably going to be zone read and just have to take advantage of it. How tough is that point when the defense is struggling and then the other side of it to make a huge play with the scoop and score on the sack and the fourth down stop and the interception to seal it? Yeah, I think it's it's getting through those waves. I think every game has adversity. You know, I think coaches all the time, there's no perfect game. And so, just like this year's been, I guess this game is kind of, you know, we did the same thing. We started off terribly on defense. Or we had the first stop, and then they kind of scored, you know, three possessions. And so we needed to, you know, figure it out. We came in, and, you know, we were able to start getting stops, start getting in a flow. And then, yeah, yeah I mean, when they make a play like that, I think it was of, uh, whoever it was. Oh, uh, yeah, Nick. Nick, and then, you know, Coop picking that up. I mean, it swings momentum. You know, we're down seven there, and, you know, it, it's a huge play. What did you see from, from Nick? Uh, he had two and a half sacks days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's starting to click. I think he's doing exactly you know what we expected him to. It's just giving him the opportunities. Yeah, I mean, I think as a whole, you know, he's becoming the full package of defensive end. How do you, how do you use this to propel you guys moving forward? Use it. We won. Enjoy this. I think uh, you got to hate losing, and you know, obviously, you know, people say more than winning, but you got to love winning too. Like if you can love this, enjoy what we're doing in the locker room right now. Enjoy the flight home. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy how Monday's going to feel. You know, no rookies have felt what it's felt like to win in a building. And, you know, everyone knows our hours are long. You know, we work hard. We do a lot of those things. And when you win, it's a lot more enjoyable. And soak that up because we got a lot more of it today. After um, 
Bears scored in the first half. Kareem was pretty passionate there mm-hmm. on the sideline. Uh, other than cleaning things up and getting your eyes right, to what extent do you just have to be, hate losing and get fed up with? Yeah, I think a lot. It's just it's just getting those guys together. We had a lot, a lot of young guys, especially in the back end, playing today, and so it's just you know rallying everybody. I think a lot of guys, you know, it's you you get so down, and we've been so down, you know, the beginning of this year that you just feel like, well, now we're lost, and it's like, hey, we haven't lost. Just you know, continue to come back to it, come back to it. You can give up big plays; they they get paid too. So it's just you know coming together and just knowing we're all together. No one cares. We're not going to point fingers. That's what Mondays are for. So come together and make plays. And I think you know once once everybody settled in, we were able to do that. What's that idea workload, not only at Josie, but a rookie replacing him in his first start, and then find out Justin can't go too, so you don't have Justin behind you to help? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, thankfully, not, not thankfully they're hurt, but thankfully, you know, we had the whole week and knew that they weren't going to. So, you know, the young guys got a lot of reps this week, and I mean, it's the NFL, you know, they're. They're here for a reason, and you know, especially with Drew. I mean, you're drafted high. He's been. It's not like you know, it's his first week in the building. So he, you know, he's prepared. He's been prepared all season, and you know, I thought he played well. I mean, it's tough, uh, you know, to step up and you know play, and you know, he did that. And like I said, you know, no one plays a perfect game. So Monday we're going to go in, we're going to correct it, and he's just going to get better. Last one, for Alex. Good. All right, Alex. Great last one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just um, just recognizing like he was kind of high on on the boot and uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but just recognizing he was kind of high and um, knowing that the the guy coming across, he wasn't really you know coming too hard at me, so I kind of you know felt the boot and just played it. So you didn't fall for play fake there at all. You weren't. Mm-mm. Nick, you got the start today. Does that change anything for the way your brother or give you any extra juice? No, nah, I mean I feel like the way like. Our group approaches every game. It's the same way, no matter who's out there or who's starting. Like we're all going to approach practice games the same way. So. And how big was it? You know, we had a rough week last week, and then down twenty-seven to make so many plays. Your strict side stop on fourth and pick the shield. Yeah, man. It was just looking back on the film. Like we all took accountability from it. You know, that wasn't the type of stuff we wanted to put on film. You know, effort-wise, that definitely wasn't you know our standard. And um. I just feel like we took as, uh, you know, as players, you know, we took a lot of accountability, looked at the film, and um, you can definitely tell with how we practice. And then um, that second half, you know, how we played, I feel like really, you know, just there's a big reason why we won from practice. So. Anything else today? Cool. Thank you.